At this approach center, a group of controllers works on three different positions of an arrival sequence. At the standard position, the controller works with a strip board and a radar screen. The strip board layout helps controllers manage their holding stacks and traffic sequence. The orders given to pilots are written down on paper strips. The planning controller integrates two new arriving aircraft on the Raiderous strip board. The amount of writing on the strips can be very heavy or dense. Strips may be shifted or grouped for highlighting specific conflicts. Or pointed to for another controller. That's correct, Portugal 431, contact only radar. Then the strips and the aircraft are transferred to the next position for the ending flight sequence. At the same time, assistance can be provided to manage some of the strips off the strip board. Using both hands allows the controller to easily switch the flight sequence. Bonjour à France, on kiosque car maintenant le 140, attendez à Odilo, heure d'approche pas vu 03. Ça fait beaucoup là. Striptech is a novel system for air traffic control that mixes augmented paper and digital pens, and vision-based tracking and augmented rear and front projection. Here we see ordinary white paper strips on the strip board. Top projection augments the strips, showing colors for different types of aircraft. The name of the aircraft is highlighted in white. Beneath the strip, we have a virtual strip containing exactly the same information. We can augment the strip showing altitude in different formats. The projected information is superimposed on the text on the strips. Here we see the changing altitudes on the blue departure strips. When the controller selects a beacon on the paper strips, the system recognizes the location he has selected and displays the information about the aircraft near that beacon on both the strips and on the radar screen. This also works in reverse. If a beacon is selected on the radar screen, the same information is displayed. There is a close association between the real strip and the virtual strip underneath. The controller can write on the virtual strip, select a flight level by circling it, and even move the strip. When the real strip is placed back on the board, the updated information appears on the real strip. We can also open a virtual strip to record additional notes. When a strip is removed from the board, the controller can still interact with it. Striptech provides tools for sequencing the arrival of aircraft in the stack and calculating the estimated approach times. This assists the planning controller in managing the stack. When the order of the aircraft is changed, the system automatically updates the blue time bar and recalculates the time the aircraft depart the stack. This is shown on the strip in red. All interaction with the system is done using an pens on the strips, on the side menu, on the strip board, and on the radar screen. The backs of the strips have tags that allow the system to determine the exact position of the strips as detected by an infrared camera under the board. Bottom and top projectors are used to display the virtual information. <laughs>